My name is Sarah, and this is Testing Your Anatomical Directional Terminology. Now, these terms are incredibly important because they are used to describe uh, anatomy across different organisms. And so you really want to make sure that you take the time to learn these terms and understand what they mean and how to use them in different contexts. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So you'll see that in the middle of the note card is a definition. Sometimes it'll ask you to list uh, certain terms, sometimes it might be a fill in the blank. I will read out whatever is in the middle of the note card, give you a few seconds to answer, and then I will give you the answer, clarify and expand on that answer to just help you out in learning these terms. All right, so this is the directional term meaning towards the tail. All right, before we really get going, I just want to um, say a disclaimer that these directional terminology and whether or not some of these words are interchangeable is purely in regards to human anatomy. A lot of these terms can change in four-legged organisms like dogs or cats. Um, this is purely for human anatomy, whether or not these terms are interchangeable with one another. All right, that's just the disclaimer I wanted to give out before we really get going. So the answer to towards the tail is inferior. So your feet are inferior to your hands, your pelvis, your pelvis is inferior to your chest, um, your belly button is inferior to your head. All right, this directional term means towards the front. All right, the answer is anterior, and anterior just means before or in front of. Ventral means towards the belly, so in the case of a bipedal organism, anterior and ventral are interchangeable with one another. So the belly, right, is anterior, and so anterior and ventral are interchangeable with one another. This directional term means closer to the surface. The answer is superficial, so your skin is superficial to your muscle, and the muscle is superficial to a bone. All these terms just mean relative to one another, right? All right, this directional term means towards the head. All right, the answer is superior, and that is also interchangeable with the word cranial because both are in the cranial direction, right? Towards the head is the cranial direction that happens to be superior, right? So your head is superior to your chest, your knees are superior, your, <laughs> your chest is superior to your knees, excuse me. And so that is how you would use that term, but they are interchangeable. This directional term means closer to the midline. This one is pretty easy. The answer is medial. So if, once again, you think about your torso as an axis of which everything is rotating around, the closer you get to the midline of your torso, you are moving in a medial direction. This directional term means towards the back. The answer, excuse me, is posterior, which basically just in essence means behind or um, in the back. Dorsal means back, and so posterior and dorsal are interchangeable with one another when it, with regards to bipedal organisms. This directional term means closer to the point of attachment. The 
answer is proximal. So this term is in reference mostly to your limbs, right? Your limbs attached to your torso. And so the closer you get to your torso, you're moving in a proximal direction. So your, your shoulder is proximal to your elbow because the shoulder is closer to the torso. Your elbow is proximal to your wrist because the elbow is right closer to your torso than your wrist. And that is how you use that term. Now, across limbs, you can't use that term with regards to a part of a limb and then relate it to a part on a different limb, right? So you can't say that your elbow is proximal to your foot because that's across limbs. This term works with regards to structures that are relative to one another on the same limb. So your feet, right? Your, let's say your carpal, carpals are proximal to your phalange, or your tarsals, excuse me, are proximal to your phalanges. Your carpals are proximal to your phalanges on your hand. That is how you would use this term. This directional term means farther away from the midline. The answer is lateral. So if once again you, you see your body as an axis that everything is rotating around and the center is the midline, medial means going towards the center, lateral is moving away from the midline of your body. This directional term means further below the surface. The answer is D. So if superficial means closer to the surface, so you write your skin is superficial to your muscle, your bone is deep to your muscle because your bone is further away from the surface. Your muscle is just a little bit closer. This directional term means further away from the point of attachment. The answer is distal. So right, if you um, look at the point of attachment as your torso, right, and we look in the arm, the wrist is distal to the elbow because you're moving away from the torso. You're moving distally. Um, once again, as with proximal, this word is only used to um, compare terms on the same limb and not across limbs. So you can't say that the feet are distal to the hand. You don't use it across limbs, it has to be on the same limb. So your phalanges are distal to your elbow, your carpals are distal to your shoulder. That is how you would use this term. Okay, so now we're going to get into some fill in the blank questions for you to practice using all these terms. We're going to start here. So the nose is blank to the mouth. The answer is superior, right? So your nose is more cranial than your mouth, so it is superior. The skin is blank to the muscle. The answer is superficial. I've gone over this one several times already, so you should have this one down pat, right? So the skin is closer to the surface than muscle. So muscle is deep to skin, and skin is superficial to muscle. The belly button is blank to the chest. answer is inferior. So the belly button is closer to the tail than the chest. Therefore, it is inferior. The occipital bone is on the blank side of the cranium. The answer is posterior, right? So the occipital bone is right where your spinal cord articulates with the cranium. 
It is the frontal bone that is on the anterior side of the cranium. The occipital bone is on the opposite posterior end. The bone is blank to the muscle. The answer is deep. We've already gone over this one several times as well, right? So bone is deep to the muscle, muscle is thus superficial to bone, muscle is deep to skin, and therefore skin is superficial to both muscle and bone. The esophagus is blank to the spinal cord. Now this one is a trick question um, in some cases if you're not uh, familiar anatomically about the location of the esophagus or you answer too hastily. So the answer is the esophagus is anterior. The only thing I could see you guys possibly saying the answer would be is um, superior to the spinal cord. The esophagus obviously isn't superior to the spinal cord. They both start about at the same location, um, just below um, the hyoid or the throat, right, is where the esophagus is going to be and not too, too more before that would be the start of your spinal cord. So the esophagus sits anterior to your spinal cord. The knee is blank to the ankle. Now this, remember, is on the same limb. The answer is proximal. So the knee is closer to the point of attachment on the torso than the ankle. The ear is blank to the shoulder. The answer is medial, right? Your, sho your shoulder, then, excuse me, is lateral to your ear. Your ear is closer to the midline of your body. The wrist is blank to the elbow. The answer is distal because you are getting further away from the point of attachment at the torso. All right, so the thumb is blank to the index finger. The answer is lateral. So if you were to hold your palms facing anteriorly, which is the correct way to hold your arms, right, with your palms facing anteriorly, you'll see that your thumb is lateral to your index finger, making your index finger, finger medial to your thumb. The armpit is blank to the hip. The answer is superior, right? Your armpits are going in the cranial direction relative to your hip, therefore they are superior to your hip. All right, this one should be an easy question. The six pack of abs is due to the rectus abdominis muscle that lies within the blank abdominal wall. The answer is anterior, right? So that six pack of abs is on the ventral side of the body, which means towards the belly, which in the case of a bipedal organism is the same as anterior. So the six pack of abs lies anteriorly in the abdominal wall. The arm is blank to the hand. The answer is proximal, right? The arm is closer to the point of attachment at the torso relative to the hand, and therefore it is proximal, making the hand distal relative to the arm. 
The scapula is blank to the vertebral column. Now the answer is lateral, but just to give you guys an example of how you can be even more specific, your scapula sits just behind the spinal column and to the side. So therefore, it's also towards the back as well as towards the side. And so another answer could be posterior lateral. Here are some uh, planar questions. The transverse plane divides the body into blank and blank portions. The answer is superior and inferior. The sagittal plane divides the body into blank and blank halves. The answer is left and right, and depending on where that sagittal plane cuts, whether it's parasagittal or midsagittal, it can divide the body into both medial and lateral portions. The coronal or frontal plane divides the body into blank and blank halves. The answer is posterior and anterior. All right, guys, so that's, the, that's it for testing your knowledge of the anatomical directional terminology. Those are all the terms that you have to learn for any anatom, uh, anatomy and physiology class. So I really hope that this helped you. And don't forget that it takes a lot of work to consolidate information, especially in a short period of time. So make sure that you are studying constantly, uh, using anything at your disposal as a resource so that you can do well in upcoming exams.